All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. I almost said Majora's Mask for like the eighth time in a row. Anyway, look at this! The Long Nose Cavern! Let's get started. Oh my god, my volume. Hold on a second. And now I have none. Hold on. Gotta find that, like, happy meat. There it is. So, there we go. A balm flower and... This place really doesn't want us to get in here without the uh, Guaran bracelet because it has a uh, way you can't get in before you get even into this room that you have to blow up. And then... Oh, Nabby. Oh, Nabby, what the fuck do you want? No, oh, there's lava in the fire dungeon. You don't say wrong way all right well that didn't work out as I wanted it to that's okay all right so we're gonna go over to this left side real quick because if we do that we can go ahead and get the map and the map is gonna be mm. oh man I know I'm gonna get hit Oh, wow, I really did not... Oh, thank God. Actually, didn't mean... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> English. I actually managed not to get blown up. And hey, just as I prophesized, the map. So, these are Beemos, and I really generally do not care about them. They really don't do anything for me, and honestly, they're generally not even going to bother me. The nice thing is, though, they blow up, and you can kill them with these bomb flowers. That is probably going to be one of the very few Beemos I ever destroy in this level. Just because it's in my way, and I don't want to deal with it. So, we're here in this first room, and we're actually going to get chased down by some baby Dodongos here. See if I can. Yes, dodge rolled out of their way. There we go. And with that, we actually blew up the wall there. And what's behind the wall? Nothing else but a few asshole keys. Oh, the aiming in this. Seriously, I just the one thing I do wish that they would have done with this game is to maybe mess with some of the uh, aiming. Cause oh okay. Are you ready for this? Hold on. Let's see if I could do this. I did my preview run earlier and uh, I got this little interesting thing happening. Yes, there it is. I don't know why, that just amuses the fuck out of me. He's just like, and pose. But anyway, let's move right along. I'm going to get blasted by one of these. I pretty much always do. But that's okay. So now we have to move these statues. Now pay attention to the fact that this one is not actually doing anything to me. That's not always going to be the case. Oh my god, Link. I, these controls, man, I'm telling you. So, we are going to do the whole dungeon in this right now. Um, why I would... I don't understand why I would uh, want to divide this dungeon into parts like I've been doing with my uh, bits where I'm just doing a bunch of, like, um, item collection and things. Like, that I understand, but like this, like, there's really no point in me dividing this into parts. It's, it's a dungeon, just... Like, Fucking Nike, just do it. Now, this dude's gonna come at me. Ooh. Actually missed. There we go. And two. Now, we should just have to hit each one of these guys one more time. Alright, that's one. And we are going to pick up those uh, seeds there. 
Why this dude is all the way in bumfuck Egypt? I have no idea. Oh, wow, you're actually gonna take two hits. Uh, did the other one take two? I don't even remember. Oh, and even more seeds. Yes, we will take those. Because we will be needing them. Um, I am gonna grab the hearts over here, too. And, of course, I'm going to grab these rupees over here. Because I am a greedy bastard. And Link seems to have an obsession with smashing pots, but, you know... No big deal. I wonder if, like, he could get help for that, like a Pot Smashers Anon uh, Anonymous or something. I mean, except for the fact that he's not really anonymous, like, I guarantee, like, everybody's now, oh, the fucking green kid here. It's gonna come in and just wreck all my pottery. It's like, oh, alright. And you don't interest me. I forgot that that was your room. Okay. Now, the cool thing is, these are Dodondos. And they're annoying generally, but if you know what you're doing, they can actually not be that bad. Boom, two bombs. And wait for the explosion. Now, in uh, Majora's Mask, they actually spawn a hefty amount of uh, rupees. I believe it's like 50. Ooh, wow! Fucking get wrecked, dude! Shit! And that's it. Cool. So the three Dodongos are dead, and now I have to light three of these torches. So we get out our Decker stick, very quickly run back across the way, Two and three. Swing our sword so that way we can keep our decker stick and hit this switch, which is going to allow us to enter the other side. Without, we're about a third of the way through the dungeon. Ooh. This is going to be a thing. Got it. Alright, cool. So now, let's head in here, and we've got two rooms to clear. This room on the left is actually going to give us the compass, and then we get to do a fun little thing here with all these bomb flowers, which, if you've never seen before, is actually kind of sweet. And I personally think it's um, one of the coolest uh, design things that they've uh, put in the, this particular level. Ooh, this is not gonna end well for me, but I don't know that I care. I can always recover the hearts. Alright, and... there we go. Cool. So that's taken care of. Let's go ahead, get in here. And trigger this. Now, this will only work if I get both sides. I did. And just like that, we've actually collapsed this giant staircase. Now, while that effect was really cool and really dramatic and, like, badass and everything, this is the part I hate. Link has to, like, hurl, like, climb, like, so hardcore. Whew, sorry, a bit tired. Um, over every single one of those, uh, stairs on the way up. Now, there's a gold skeleton here, and you can actually see it. There's one there. We can't get that one yet, so we're just gonna completely ignore it, like I do most of the problems in my own life. Um... Now, this is where things get annoying. I'm gonna equip my Hylian Shield. And the reason for that 
Because these guys suck so much dick. So the reason I really don't like those guys is if they touch you while well, you have your Deku Shield equipped, um, you actually lose your Deku Shield due to burning. Which of course makes a lot of sense, but it is my personal belief that those bats are just Satan incarnate and they're only there to like fuck your day. Just absolutely like right over the coffee table, just mmm, you like that, don't you? But, alas, we're just gonna run right past these guys and into the next room which is our first encounter with these fucking things you never know what's gonna be around the corner in these narrow paths use Z targeting to always look in the proper direction Jill it's a useful technique isn't it ha 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 oh god the Resident Evil voice acting seriously it's never ugh, so bad so, I think this is just rupees, right? Like 20? Yeah. And then we get this bomb bar, right? Oh no, that was very, very bad. So, I actually managed to get that on my first try in the preview run, and now I'm just like struggling. Oh, come on. This is, this is honestly, I believe, like, the most challenging part of the whole dungeon. There we go. Okay. Cool, so now we have this. This is not, like, inherently difficult. It's just annoying. So we go through here, right? And then... Oh, wow, I actually got hit by both of them. If I would've get hit, gotten hit by the third one, I would've been a little pissed. So, hey, remember these guys? They're pretty fucking annoying. Alright, and... Ooh, ooh, oh, no, no. Oh, what are you... Alright. Now I'm gonna see if I can get these two to, like, buttfuck again. Because I, uh... Somehow managed to pull that off last time. I think I just kind of got to get on the uh, opposite side of this dude. There we go. Oh no, he's he's not gonna. Oh, that's sad. And they looked so happy before. I just not even caring it right now. Okay, let's jump over to this platform. Alright. And with that, both of those lizard lizard foes lizard foes? Lizard foes? Something like that. Big ass lizards that annoy the shit out of me. Oh, get up the fucking platform. Alright, can we thank you? I just wanted to align my camera. I honestly didn't think it was gonna be that difficult. According to the game though, it needed to be, so hey, you know, who who, who am I to say things? Anyway, let's get going. We've got a little more dungeon to complete. And then we can go fight the, uh, the Raging Flaming Asshole, better known as King Dodongo. Interestingly enough, he's not green. Okay, I was going to be a little concerned if I missed that shot. Granted, the hitboxes, especially because the hitboxes on these are pretty generous. Now... There is a room down here just to my right of this chest, and there's two, uh, salesman Deku scrubs. And, uh, they sell Deku nuts and Deku seeds. 
And I did get that during my preview run, but there's no real reason to do that anymore because I don't really need either. So we hit the switch and it elevates this platform. But we're not really gonna give a shit about that. We have no reason to care. All we need to do right now... Oh, uh, oh, oh, okay, sure. Oh, that's painful. And, alright. With that, we are one step closer to this boss room. Oh, hello, Beamos. I do not like you. Alright. And, ladies and gentlemen... We just have a couple rooms left, and we are done here. This case is always going to hit me, but I'm just going to take the damage, because I don't really plan on getting hit by uh, King Dodongo. King, King, D oh my god, I can't pronounce anything today. However, apparently I am going to get hit by like every single piece in this level. Now then, if I remember right, alright, let's try this again. There we go. Yup, there we go. And I really don't need to give a shit about this guy. I forgot. I just needed to build Skulleta. Skulltula? This game, like, Legend of Zelda has so many enemies that just, like, the names of them. Just kind of difficult. I really need to stop giving a fuck about the pronunciation. This is not, like, English class in high school. Like, nobody gives a fuck. I mean, YouTuber, like, the YouTube commenters are gonna give a fuck. It's actually not Skulltula, it's Skulltula. Like, shut the fuck up. I don't care. I'm just gonna fucking say words, and you're probably still gonna watch, even if I don't, like, pronounce things correctly. Like, I always think it's funny, like, people just, like, all these other YouTubers are just like, um, you're doing things wrong? It's like, okay, but you're still watching it. So apparently it doesn't bother you that much. Come on now. Anyway. So aside from getting hit by every keys in this level. We drop the block down there. We go through the door. We'll fall through the floor. And then fight us a giant dinosaur. Wow, that actually worked out fairly conveniently well. Bombs, oh yeah. Fall through the floor. Fight us a giant dinosaur. Now this guy, he's really not difficult at all. There is a chance I'll either get hit by him or the lava pool that's to my right. Um, but honestly, like, I'm just generally not that concerned. There we go. Stood on the uh, edge of the lava pool there and we're fine. Oh, this is not gonna end well. Oh shit, this is really not gonna end well. So, I did get hit, but I, uh, I got hit by my own bomb. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you were wondering, that is actually pretty skilled, like, 
getting wrecked by yourself during the King Dodongo fight. Oh, well, there's the lava. Oof, voice went out for a second. What is this, puberty again? Jesus. Bomb? Oh, look, it's so delicious. And one more jump slash kills the fucker. Now, this guy is like, oh no, I have been beaten. I have brought dishonor to my family. So what does he do? Well, first he throws a fucking fit, but then he rolls himself into the lava, like death by self-immolation. Like, alright, that's a way to go. But the cool thing is, his body actually cools the lava to the point where we can walk on it. Also, he lets out a really, like, nasty death scream there. And so now we leave out of here. And, uh, Daruni has got some words for us. Also, he's gonna give us that stone. Spoiler alert. Oh, oh. I can imagine these guys are just unbelievably heavy. It's me, Darunia. Well done. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dodongo's Cavern. Dodongo's Cavern. Whatever. Fuck you. What a wild adventure. It will make for an incredible story. I can't believe the Dodongo's Cavern suddenly appeared in such... You know, whatever. I don't... Fuck it. Shut up and eat your rocks and give me the fucking pretty one. Oh yeah, Ganondorf had a lot of shit to do with this one, too. So, surprise. Kid, I like you. How about you? <laughs> How's about you and I become sworn brothers? It's no ceremony. Just take this as a token of our friendship. Look at this pretty rock. I'm summoning it because I know magic. Bet you didn't know. But I know magic. Watch this shit. Ah, whoosh. Look at it. Such a pretty little stone. Don't eat it, okay, kid? It's bad for your health. Set your whole body on fire. Not in like a good way either. Like, like a bad trip in Vegas just coming back to haunt you for the rest of your life. But like a physical, actual fire. Not herpes. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones and made a shitty Christopher Walken impression. So there's that. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of the Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. Yeah, this dude is fucking nuts. How about a big old Goron hug? How about a get the fuck away from me? Like, you guys would hug this kid and he would die. That's literally the end of that story. Oh, that's a lot of effort. Uh, I guess I'm gonna do it though, aren't I? So we're gonna go see this great fairy and then we're gonna call it an episode. Um, hey Link, buddy, you wanna, you know, you know, jump properly? Maybe, there you go. There you go, champ. So, now, here's the thing that's gonna happen. Ready for some volcanic rocks? Ooh. Now, I just gotta be careful. There we go. And they come down in like these controlled little bursts. And they can like completely wreck your health. There we go. Now. Hmm. This is about to be unfortunate.
Now here's the thing, this could go really badly. Ooh. Okay. I have to, like, keep my distance from these guys, because they will fuck me so hard. Alright, yes. Oh, no. Mm, got it. Oh, my God. Guys. It's the fucking owl. Alright, he's not talking to me. That's kind of fucking suspicious, but... I'm not going to question it if he's not annoying me. Alright, cool. So now, we've got this going on. So, right. Oof. Zell does lullaby, yes. Fuck. And now here comes the child molester fairy. Like, literally, like the Michael Jackson of, like, fairyland. Like, what the fuck? First off, what is with the face? It's a little fucking creepy. And then she's not wearing, like, any fucking clothes. Which, I mean, I kind of get because that's, like, how fairies are. But then we get, like, a full blown, like, like, vagina shot. Like, do we really need that? Like, we're staring right into our baby maker. Like, we're not a gynecologist? What the fuck? Like, I'm just generally pretty fucking confused. Now, when I use a spin attack, I can actually use um, magic with it, which is really cool. Is, is, is the fucking magic coming from her vagina? The fuck? What the shit? Yeah, I know, because it didn't fire, like... Yeah. Alright. Yeah, just... Let's... There's also a heart piece we're gonna get. And we actually kinda need the owl to get it. Which is pretty fucking annoying, but... So, this is actually kind of the coolest thing that Al does, and it's at this moment that I'm actually not going to call him Kong. I do kind of like him at this point, because he gives us access to, like I said, another heart piece. He also gives us a really unnecessary door of Death Mountain, like, you really could just fly me down the fucking mountain. It's literally a straight shot to the village. We're on a fucking mountain. Down we go, and into this hole here. We never went in this building before, but there's a heart piece right there. And now we're stuck in jail for the rest of our lives with this cow. And with that, I shall bid you adieu. But not before I give my little thing. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and comment. If you got a suggestion for a future Let's Play, please leave it down in the comments below. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you later. Peace.